Right, right on cue, I've got a run on my left rod, everyone. Go on. It's not a halibut. Go on. There you go. Phil, you have to get ready, yeah? This fish is running. We're on the fish. Yeah, buddy. Phil, I need you up with this, yeah? That wasn't meant to happen. Shall I do your snow angel? Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to day four of our trip out here in Norway. I'm sorry I didn't do an outro last night and we didn't even fish into darkness due to the weather. Today we have come to a new location. We have never fished here before. So what I'm going to do, or attempt to do, is show you how we find new marks out here in Norway. And the same as what I do in Scotland and pretty much everywhere else. Today we have 70 or 60 to 70 miles per hour wind. The UK is getting battered, i.e. you, and the storm has come this way. This trip has definitely been the worst for the weather and unfortunately it's virtually killed the fishing yeah that's really all i gotta say so today we are very limited so we've gone on to navionics and maps stuart and steve have gone somewhere else and philip and i have come here because as you can see we've got some shelter the wind is cutting from right to left but we have never fished here before. So what I'm going to do now is what I do everywhere. Just get a rod, a plain lead, and have a few casts. As we've got Navionics and technology has moved on, I know it's deep. But I need to be able to get fish in, and so does Phil. So what I like to do first it's a little simple flick. Get it out there. There's no point absolutely tanking it because with bait, we're only gonna be fishing at probably 60, 70 yards. But it's definitely deep, look, it's still going down. So Navionics is correct. <laughs> That's pretty epic. Still sinking. Still sinking. Still sinking. Look at that. So we've got depth. Getting near the bottom. Still sinking. Still sinking. Oh my God, that's deep out there. Still sinking. Right, it's hit the bottom. Wow. Right, we've got depth, which is what we need. Right, so what I need to do now, I don't want to wind up, I want to wind sideways. So I just need to bounce that lead across the bottom, like so. Oh my God, that's mud. I can feel it sticking, no rocks. Oh my days. Oh, nice. So as I'm using just a plain lead, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Phil's just going for it. I did have a cast for him up there, it's absolutely fine. So you just do this. gentle along the bottom there we go I've not hit one rock well that's the introduction let's get on with the fishing so there's my rotten bottom like so on my up and over to the magic end my pop-ups so I'm just pulling my stop knot down and there we go got my three pop-ups 
and half a side of herring. Let's get it out there, everyone. Wish me luck. I think Phil and I deserve it, and Stu and Steve. It's been really hard. We've not really had many fish, but we've been enjoying it. We've been chilled out. We've had to stay in, we've had to light the fire, make new rigs and eat some food. It's still beautiful, but it's not fishing. So hopefully today we can get a good 10 hours in and catch you a few fish. Let's go. There we go. Oh yeah, that went quite far out. Oh, Phil, the rods are gonna. I've got one on me. The tripod went over. Yeah, see that was gnarly then, everyone. See that wind come. There we go. I've hit the bottom. Ah, it's super deep out there. There you go. For my second rig. I've gone for a, a six foot pulley with a rattle rig pop up with some sea glow. Lumi. I've not charged it up, it just happens to be on there. Oh yeah, I've got half a heron and half a mackerel. So I've mackerel that side, heron that side. So what I'm gonna do now is just drop this one out. I still went out there with that wind. Just try and feather it down. Got a little bit of tide rip from right to left. Voila, two rods in the water. It's not snowing, it's not minus 20. Um, what else has gone wrong? Wow, too much to list. But we're in, we're fishing. One in probably 70 yards, probably, God knows, 50 meters of water. I could check actually on my Navionics, can I? And then one probably 90 yards, a little bit deeper, but we're fishing. We're in Norway and we're gonna have a go. Otherwise, if I don't catch today, I'm going to have to come home and try and go to the Bristol Channel to catch you a few fish or something. I've caught fish every day in testing conditions and I'm pretty proud of the effort we've been putting in. But from today, it should be okay. Today. And then tomorrow, we have got that storm coming from the UK and it looks like we won't be out fishing at all. So this one can go down, really. It's the worst trip. I've ever had out here, but coming out to Norway, up by the Arctic, in the winter, what do you expect? Hmm, well, I wanna turn you around, I wanna show you something, which I think is pretty cool, yeah? Look at all the ice. It's like a movie, isn't it? One's gonna come down and go straight through me. Whoa, fuck you now. Nearly broke my neck, man. Whoa. Look at these. Try and get a good one for you. But they're all falling out. Look at that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. 
I'll mince that. That's pretty cool. Hey, mate. That's an icicle. But yeah, it's all melting. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's just nice to be here. As I'm out with my Uncle Phil, it's just a holiday for me. It is when I'm fishing. Stu just, phew, he wants to fish 24 hours a day, which is great. <laughs> he loves it. But when I come out here, sometimes I like to chill out naturally because I'm filming. I want to make you some good videos, but when the weather's really bad and it's virtually unfishable, we can't really do anything about it. Stu stayed out the other night and managed to catch a few fish on the shad. And he was rewarded for his efforts, but this is nice. Sometimes you just, it is what it is. Anyway, I'll keep fishing. It's a bit of ice for you. Oh, here he goes again. Obviously this week I'm out guiding my Uncle Phil and it's a privilege for me to have him out here after chatting about it for years. We've just come to this new mark on the first cast. It's just had a hell of a whack. Looks like a cob bite or maybe another pollock like yesterday. But look, we'll bring you live and hopefully we can get you the action on camera. Turn up a bit. Is that the one you had a little rattle on? Yeah, he's been doing all right. He had three pollock yesterday. Nice cod. In hard conditions, he's caught fish every day, so I'm super pleased, and that's what it's all about. Now, today, it's my turn to get a few fish. But true to form, yeah. No, I don't care. You know me, I'm messing. I don't really care. I just love watching people catch fish. Oh, that's a decent bite. Yeah, might be on there. Give it a little, little tickle. Tighten up. Fish there? Huh? No. Sorry, put it back down. Mom. Right, right on cue. I've got a run on my left rod, everyone. Go on. It's not a halibut. Go on. There you go. So you have to get ready, yeah? This fish is running. We're on the fish. Yeah, buddy. Phil, I need your help with this, yeah? I know, yeah. I'll have to swap with you. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, hopefully I can get it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll get down there, I'll get down there. Yeah, nice fish. Nice cod this. Big heavy fish. Just hopefully it's not snaggy down there. Staying deep. Swimming up tight. Gotta try and get it up. Can you get down that ravine? Are you worried? Yeah, just don't go in. It's definitely a cord. You need to get down. This fish is coming. It's come off. Oh, it's just come off. Oh, oh, oh my God. You know I just love being here, all right? It didn't get me down. Oh, that's a shame. That was a really nice fish. My naggers were doubled. Never mind. All the other fish we've hooked this week have been held the bait on that one, for some reason. I don't know. It's on the top hook. It just wasn't meant to be. But there we go. We've been fishing for about half an hour had one bite and one indication, so let's keep going. Cheers everyone, wish me luck, yeah? 
Hey, just change the bait. Remaining positive as ever. Yeah. We're just coming up to low water in a bit. And what happens is then the edible crabs come out. And they're just like the crabs at home, but just massive. And they just clean you out. So you just got to keep casting probably every quarter of an hour. But we're fishing that. Look at that herring. Just cutting that off. Absolutely. Oh, it stinks, honestly. A lot more oil than mackerel. So you can see why they love it. And we paid 20 quid for a 20 kilo box. Brilliant. I bought over 10 packs of Riot Bait Joey's, which is, Phil's just cast in, which is brilliant bait. But if you can get some herring, you can feather it out yourself with little sabikis, but it's hit and miss that. You can catch little cold fish and bits and bobs, but you're not allowed to live bait. Okay. Yeah. Don't do it. No, it was like anything, right? In life. Don't do it. If you get caught doing it, then you get fined six thousand pounds or something like that. And the Norwegians, I don't think they really want us here anyway, so don't be that guy. I'm just wash my hands for snow. So what I do is get a little bit of herring like this. I put a little line down the back. I get my rig. Get the heaviest point. And beat it up. Yeah, it's a lot more milder today. As you've seen, all the snow's melting. Get my bait needle, keep it nice and straight to aid in casting. There you go, let's see. Push it right up through. What we're finding this week is the smaller baits are working better than big baits. The good thing about that is obviously it's better for bait. And secondly, your hooks should always be nice and pride then with a smaller bait. Sometimes with a massive bait, it's harder to hook the fish. Spin that like that. And that popped up. Just like that. Wind off a couple of times over your fingers. Back free. Hello. Hello. What's how they sound here in Norway? How you doing? One, two, three, voila. We're in a new mark. You know this mark. We've been here before. We were fishing here yesterday. And we didn't really catch. Stu caught that nice cod. Oh, actually, Phil caught some pollock. But yeah, I didn't catch. That's what I should have said. The wind's dropped out enough for us to come out on the point. It was very comfy where we were and fishable but as the water has dropped out there's a line of kelp and rocks and we looked at each other and thought let's go on the point well it's Phil's idea actually so here we are we're fishing in the hole the halibut hole and we've definitely got a chance we're going to keep fishing we're going to keep trying as you know it's max effort on our behalf look at the mountains the snow is definitely melting and we've definitely got a chance. Welcome back. This is part two of today. We've eaten a little bit of food, not much. We'll probably eat a lot more, but what we are gonna do is fish hard and maybe catch us a few fish. So if you watch my left arm rod, it's a nice pull down. It's been quiet. There you go. 
Așa. Aici. These all make look cool, isn't it? There's a fish out for a while. I've got to run. I could be, oh, it's a cold bite. Oh, it's going to be a halibut then. Get out of your way. You don't want to see my big fat ass. Not seen any fish or bites for three days. Go on. The cod. Let him get it into him. He's there. I'll leave it for a bit longer. Right, come on, man. Yeah, I can feel him head shaking. Fish on. This reel's a bit loose. That's right. Come on. Oh, a big fish, but we're on the fish. Head shake. I'll try and get it in above the shell, so it's a bit brutal. We don't really mess around out here. You just get down there, mate, somehow. Just don't hurt yourself. Now I'm stuck. Here it comes. Fish come. Yeah, it's coming. The rotten bottom might have just gone. Just got to not mess around here, everyone. Just get it up over that shell. Careful, Phil. Feet are banging in. There you go. It's leader. Low water as well, it's just shit. And there you go, everyone. It's not the biggest, but I'm on the fish, thankfully. It's been hard going today. I've had three bites and landed this one fish. But there we go. A prime Norwegian cod. We're going to give it to our Norwegian friend. we've been feeding them. We wouldn't have made them fat mines, so we've not caught many fish, but anyway, there you go everyone. That's another cod. I'll get back in. Hopefully I can mix this up and change it for a bigger one. So I've been feeding up the guys that live in this house with our cod. You happy with the fish? Happy? Yeah, nice fish? Nice. Yeah, good. Nice That's a present from us in the UK to people in Norway, yeah? Thank you very much. For your beautiful country. Yes. <laughs> a nice fish. Thank you. As you can see, we're back in the lodge. The rain came in and unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to do an outro. I've got a new job though, to light the fire. If you've watched all my recent videos from here in Norway, it's been really hard and I am truly sorry about that. The fishing has been great, the catching has been super poor. 
I've caught a cod every day, so I've not blanked. And I've been here guiding my uncle. He's caught some lovely fish, so I'm super proud of that. But for myself, the fishing has been quite hard. Tomorrow, we've got a day of 90 to 100 miles per hour wind. So we probably won't be getting out. But if we do, I'll bring you back. But look, my name's Wayne. This is a beautiful fire here in Norway. We're going to sort our kit out. Stu and Steve have gone out again in that rain. But me and Phil are going to have some dinner, sit down, probably talk about boobs and fishing and just be men. Thanks everyone. My name's Wayne and this has been Norway.